Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little first impressions video on the KKW So Fire eyeshadow palette. I did tell you guys that I really wanted this palette when it was first announced. The promo pictures and everything just looks so stunning and I have her other 10 pan palettes so it just made sense in my head to pick up the newest one as well. I didn't buy this right away when it launched but KKW is offering free shipping on her site till the end of the month so I was like perfect let me grab it then. You do have to spend $50 so I did pick up an eyeliner. My eyeliner is like already kind of messed up but this is a really creamy eyeliner and I picked it up in the shade Rust because I thought it was kind of a unique shade that I could pop in my waterline and it is the shade I have on in my waterline for this look. So I am going to show you guys a demo of how I created this eyeshadow look but before that I do want to swatch this palette for you guys. It does have a mirror as well and you can fold it all the way back which is really nice and I still have some like travel stuff coming up this you know end of summer and fall and I think this would be such a fun palette to travel with as well because it's compact and the shades are just like universally flattering so here is the first row and then let me swatch the last five shades and it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five mattes, three shimmers, and then this is like a shimmery matte, the last shade, which is like a beautiful chocolatey brown color. Yeah, I just think it's like a really easy, like this is definitely somebody's like everyday palette. So there's the last five shades. And overall, I'm really happy with this palette. I'm glad I picked it up. And yeah, let me know what else you would like to see from this palette. I do have other KKW palettes as well. They just haven't made it on my channel. I want to do a series where I film a look with each of them over like a week. But you know, all that stuff takes time. So the ideas are there, they're coming. <laughs> so anyway, let me get into how I created this look for you. So usually I'm really tired after work, but today I decided I should persevere. I just got this palette in the mail, so I thought I should film a video for you guys. So this is the KKW Beauty So Fire palette. I don't know, something about this really like caught my attention. Once I got it, I was like, okay, kind of looks like the Bretman Rocks palette that ColourPop came out with, but whatever. This is going to be super handy the rest of the summer. So I wore this to work today and I took my eye look off and I figured I'd just do it again. So I even have the same brushes I use and so I just got this in. This is a Sigma Diffuse Crease Brush E38 and this is how I did this look when I went to work today. So I went into this like medium brown shade and my eyes are primed with the Makeup Revolution primer. So I'm just going in and messily applying this to the crease. This is basically like my skin tone um, but I really like this color as a transition shade. And I saw yesterday she just announced two more palettes She's coming out with like an all matte palette, I believe, and it's going to be one's like a warm tone and then the other one's like a smoky palette. From what I can tell, everyone's really excited for the smoky palette. It's like a very 90s vibes palette. Definitely a little different for, you know, what's popular right now. I personally don't know how I feel like I've been collecting her 10 pan eyeshadow palettes but I don't know if that either of those is like me you know what I mean okay then I just want to place some of this regular like brow bone color um, my brows I didn't take the makeup out of my brows so I'm just gonna leave them like this my brows are in like such a disarray guys I'm like so broke this month it's like ridiculous like, I don't know. I think what happened was I bought, like, my New York ticket and my Gen Live ticket and Pat McGrath Foundation. And I'm like, okay, I can't buy anything else. Ugh. 
it stings. It stings. It really does. I'm sorry I'm like whining about it in every video, but I just can't believe it. Okay, so next I want to go in with this orange shade. It's like a beautiful brick color. And I'm just going to place that kind of on the lid as well as the crease. I don't think I've ever done a video with one of our palettes, but I have all her other 10 pan palettes. I have the cherry one, the nude one, and the one she did with Makeup by Mario. And I want to do a week where I just do a look with each palette. And honestly, it is kind of my fault because, like I said, when I get home from work, I'm so either busy or, like, I should probably be making, like, lunch for us to take to work. But I just, oh, so over it, guys. Sometimes adulting, like, is tough. I don't know, like, how moms do it because, like, I swear, I have, like, no energy. Oh, and then I'm going to put some of this matte shade, too. In the crease, I've been really into like blending out the crease. By the way, so today when I'm filming this, um, the Jackie Ina palette launched. I didn't buy it. I'm so proud of myself. Also, I'm like I said, broke like a joke. So it's not like I can afford to buy it anyway. And I honestly just want to wait for it to come to Sephora. Like. I want to get points or Alta, whoever gets it first. I bought the foundation on Alta's website when it launched. I'm glad they did that. They launched um, the foundation on Alta as well as their own site on the same day on Sunday. That whole launch was kind of weird. They don't usually do stuff like that, so it's interesting to see the changes in Anastasia since they've been like a, have they, I don't know if they're like a publicly held company, but they got, like, they sold shares. So it's not just owned by Norwina and Anastasia anymore. Um, and same thing with Morphe. So today is the day that the Morphe Jeffree Star round two collab was announced. And I don't know, I'm kind of like a little bit shocked by it because... I just feel like an eyeshadow palette with Morphe. I feel like if Jeffrey really wanted people to try out his formula, he could just put out a smaller palette, like with smaller pan sizes, you know, just so people could try his formula. He doesn't need to give such big product pans. Like, nobody's getting through a Jeffrey Star palette. So I just feel like... I don't know. It just feels like a money grab. And, like, it's nice that he wants to donate the money he makes from his code to charity. But he could have done that with his own brand. So I just think it's, like, really strange. Like, the, the marketing that they do these days is so wild. It's so sneaky. Like, I just don't get it. It's, like, how am I sitting here, like like with people like wanting this palette and it's like guys like if he wanted to donate to charity he could donate to charity like he could buy one less Birkin and probably feed like a whole country you know you don't need somebody else's money to do charity work in my humble opinion so anyway I did um a bit of this yellow and a bit of this yellow in the lid and I'm just gonna put foundation on and finish up my face and I will be right back so this morning when I did this look I didn't have time to add a wing but I really thought a wing would kind of like give me more drama since you had to spend $50 to get free shipping I also added this eyeliner and it was actually really good. I put this in my waterline today. This came out with her collection. This is the shade Rust, I believe. Yeah, Rust. It's like a pretty orange color. So I'm just throwing that in my waterline. It's so creamy. I don't know if she makes 
black eyeliners, but if she did, I would totally get one. And then I'm going in with my Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender and then back into the palette. And I'm going to grab this orange corally shade, dust off, and I'm placing that in the lower lash line. These shadows blend like a freaking dream. I did get a little extra here, but that's okay. I'm gonna smoke it out with the deeper brown. Obviously, if you're gonna wear this to the office, go with a less heavy hand, but since I'm home, and I'm just playing, I'm adding some of the yellow gold in the inner corner. And now I have a super smoky eye look with the KKW So Fire palette. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this really, really quick eye look that I created and this first impressions video. So overall, my thoughts on this palette is I really like this. Is this new to the game by any means? No, but if you're my skin tone or you are a deeper skin tone or even a lighter skin tone, I think you would have so much fun with this palette. I love this packaging. It's so sleek and just so understated. So I love this a whole lot. Again, like I said, it's nothing new but it is a nice palette to kind of have for everyday eye looks and even more glam looks. Like I can totally see myself throwing on something like this for like a night out or maybe a evening, you know, wedding or something glamorous like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!